What's up, Lead Gen J here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a review and demo of Contact Dot. And if you're like me and you love software, you love tools, you're gonna to wanna to look into this one because they are a main competitor of the ones that I currently use, the Apollos, the Seamless AIs, the Zoom Infos. We're gonna be comparing pricing. We're gonna be comparing data validity. We're gonna be comparing user interface. We're gonna be comparing features. So strap in, I hope you're excited. And if you haven't already, please grab my 8 million free leads link in the description. All right, let's jump into the video. Let's look at Contact Out and see how it stacks up compared to some of the other databases and I've used every single one. So I'm gonna be able to show you step-by-step step how they compare, how they stack up. And maybe it'll be a good option for you, maybe it won't. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, welcome to Contact Out. Before we jump inside, let's show you a little bit about the, the tool itself. So they're relatively new. In fact, I have not heard of them until they approached me by email after seeing one of my YouTube videos. I do like their UI. It's very friendly, but let's dive into what's important. It's not their homepage, it's their pricing. Let's see how they stack up pricing wise. So this is why I was severely disappointed. For $200 a month, you get a thousand emails and that's per month and 12,000 emails per year. That's at their one of their highest paid plans. 12,000 emails per year at about 2,400 annual, 200 a month. Let's see how that stacks up compared to Apollo.io. So Apollo.io, if we're looking monthly, $100 per month, for unlimited email credits. So if we're stacking apples to apples, Apollo.io absolutely smashes contact out. And in fact, we're in an enterprise plan with Apollo paying about $3,000 per year for unlimited email credits and exports, well, 2 million exports, which is a lot a lot of exports. So I will say this is on the more expensive side. In fact, I'd say this is competing with Zoom Info on the pricing side. So is it worth it? Let's find out. Let's dive into the tool and see if the price justifies the functionality. So as you can see here, based on initial impression, we've got a search function that should look familiar, people's companies. I do like their interface, their UI. It's clean, it's simple. There's not many options. It looks like a appropriate SaaS company. In fact, it's one of my favorite UIs, but that's not the most important thing here. What's the most important thing is the functionality. So if you look on the right side here, you can see Gmails listed. You can see numbers listed. And like others, you can use credits to view those emails and view those phones. Before I go ahead and make because I will be creating a filter here and then running that filter through Million Verifier to see how accurate their data is. Let's dive into a few other features that they have. Uh, their list builders, obviously this is going to be familiar. If you've used any other B2B database, you're able to build lists, so that's, I'm not gonna spend too much time here. Campaigns, they are able to do sending campaigns. However, I have not experimented with this for one reason, and this is why I think their campaigns are useless, absolutely useless. You have two options here, connect Gmail, connect Outlook. We do not use either of these anymore because Gmail will suspend accounts for cold email and Outlook is expensive and not very user friendly. You need to connect via SMTP and you need to allow for other options like Zoho and all these other great opportunities that are out there for cold email. So Gmail does work. We do use Gmail for a lot of our cold email, but now we're moving a lot to Zoho and a lot to private servers. And there's not even an option here to allow for that. So I would say just based on first impression, if you're gonna use this for cold email, do not pick contact out, choose Apollo. They've got a great built-in highly functional outreach system that you can use for your email as well as your data. All right, let's look at enrichment. So I did test their enrichment tool. It's okay. It's not nearly as, as built out as Apollo. I think this is a, a newer tool. Every database will have an enrichment functionality. This one is not nothing special. Integrations. Obviously, you want your database to integrate with most of your other software platforms. They all do, especially through Zapier. If you understand how to use this, you can integrate with everything, Google Sheets as well. A lot of these other ones I'm not familiar with, but this is a short list of integrations, a very short list. So if we're talking about databases, top lead generation tools, I don't think this quite qualifies. They do have an API, so if you're a developer, you can do your own thing here, but I'm not gonna touch too much on that because it's not really my wheelhouse. All right, now let's go ahead and build out a list, export it, and see how clean their data actually is. But before we do that, one of the main things that you need to look at in your B2B database is whether they have access to technologies and whether they have access to intent. So let's see if they have either. They do have technologies here, but they do not have intent. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. 
And just like that, now we're in Apollo. So if I'm in Apollo's search functionality here, buying intent, so it actually knows what people are searching for. And this is a really well built out and useful function if you're looking for uh, leads that are actually looking for you. It's pretty incredible how they generate this data. Uh, before Apollo and Seamless rolled this out, it was only Zoom Info doing this. Now Apollo and Seamless have this. So it's a standard now for your B2B database and they do not offer it. So for the price that they're charging, I am shocked, shocked that they don't have intent built in here. All right, so let's go ahead and build out a list and see how clean their data is. Just as I'm building this list, some things that I, I saw that might be a big issue for you is company size. You, don't, you can't get very granular. See in Apollo, you can filter by up to 50, up to 100. In contact out, after one to 10, it's not very granular. So 50 to 200 is a massive difference. The other big bottleneck that I saw, within locations, you have to type it. It doesn't let you just kind of select, which isn't great. All right, so let's go ahead and I've got seniority here. All of this should be the same, no matter which database you're looking at. It's only those few key differences that you need to worry about. The other thing that I don't like with this tool is that as I'm creating these filters, I don't see how many contacts are in the database that I'm searching from. So I don't even know if that search is gonna give me good results. All right, so it looks like I've got 10,034 profiles here. Let's see if I can select all of them at once. This makes my job very easy. Not a good sign. So I go to select, I can only select 25 at a time. This is not good, guys, not good at all. This is gonna take me forever to export a list that is the size that is actually useful for me. Not good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and export. Instead of exporting all at once, I'm gonna save these to a list. I'm gonna save these into a test folder, and then I'm gonna put about 100 in there before I actually start verifying, just so we can get a good sample size going. So I will see you in a second once I'm done. All right, should have sufficient contacts in there now. Let's go into this list and export it. Select all, Jesus, it doesn't even let me select them from the list. This is a nightmare. All right, I'm gonna export from here. Contact out, you've got some work to do, guys. All right, so we're finally able to save this as a file. Now I'm going to import these into Million Verifier and let's see how valid these emails are. I will see you in just a second. Once we are done verifying, in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about databases. What are your needs? What are my top recommendations? So I'll tell you off the bat, it's probably not gonna be contact out just based on what we spoke about and based on the price. The features aren't quite there. The price is absurd. If we're gonna pay anywhere from 200 per month for a very limited amount of emails, you may as well be using Zoom Info. You want a database that also has the ability to do sending for you. That's why I recommend Apollo. If you're looking for a low cost database, Seamless.ai used to be very low cost. We were paying about 200 per month for unlimited exports. There's a couple caveats there and weaknesses, and you can watch the recap video of that and down in the show notes, I'll list it, it's, it's on the channel. You want good data is the first thing. So you need to have good, clean data. The, the databases that I found that have the best data are Apollo and Zoom Info. Seamless is getting better every day. They're innovating, they're growing, but not quite there yet. Phone numbers, rocket reach. For the price, you really can't beat it. We pay a couple thousand dollars per year for unlimited phones. It's a little bit hard to export lots of data, but they really excel at phone numbers. Now, if we're talking about a good combination of price, and usefulness, you really can't beat Apollo. We've tried everything. I've experimented with Lead Rocks, Zoom Info. Lead Rocks is being on the cheaper end, Zoom Info being on the more expensive end. Apollo is really close to Zoom Info in terms of quality, resources, technology, but it's about half the price. Zoom Info is pretty absurdly expensive, but a very good tool. Contact Out is really down there close to Lead Rocks at this point. All right, let's dive back in and see how our data is doing. So typically, uh, when we're using this tool, it gets pretty far, and then the last few just get stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and see how we did. All right, so not bad, but not great. Looks like we had about 69% good. That is pretty close to the Apollo numbers. Uh, again, it's a small sample size just because it's so hard to actually get data out of there, but a 7% bad ad rate is, is pretty typical. Don't worry about risky. These are typically the catch all emails. So I will say the data seems to be good, at least solid with this small sample size. So overall, the consensus on contact out is a no go. Definitely not what I would recommend, especially if you're looking at great tools like Apollo, like Seamless, like Zoom Info. If you need to spend the extra money to get a tool like Apollo, I recommend doing it. If you want 
to use our rates as a bargaining chip when you're talking to their sales teams, because their sales teams are gonna say, no, we can't give you that price, I'm not allowed, I'm not authorized. You say, CMO J is paying this per year for this many contacts. All you have to do is DM me at, at CMO J Feldman and I will give you that resource to bring to their sales teams. Now, if you're interested in trying any of these tools, I do have affiliate links down there in the show notes. It does support the channel to sign up for trials or these tools actually using my links. So please go ahead and do that. And again, I don't just do puff pieces about every software that I look at. This is one that's saying, don't use it. Stay away from contact out. At least now, give them some time to work on their product, develop. They're not quite there yet. And my message for you, contact out, reduce your price until you're there. That's my hope for you. You're competing against a lot of great companies there and you're just not gonna do very well at that price point. So thank you for watching. Please sign up for a trial using my links. Watch some of the other recap videos on Apollo, on Seamless, on Zoom Info down there in the show notes, and I'll see you in the next video.